So, on with the content. Before we actually start looking at examples of trigonometric equations, just a reminder of how to actually solve them. If you ask your calculator for inverse cos, inverse sine or inverse tan, it'll give you an angle usually between 0 and, and 180 if it's cos, or between negative 90 and positive 90 if it's sine or tan. Remember again, um, it might be radians between 0 and pi, or between minus pi on 2 and plus pi on 2. Now, that's one of the answers, but there's usually a second, depending on the context of the question. So, if it's sine, cos, or tan, so, so we get the reference angle from our calculator. It's normally here, right, between 0 and 90, or between 0 and pi on 2. If we're looking at cos, that's the x-coordinate. So there might be another answer here. If my cos is negative, there might be another answer here. And just to remind you, the reference angle here, the angle I really want is 180 minus it, pi minus that angle. If it's over here, that's my reference angle here. The one I really want is 180 plus, pi plus my reference angle. If it's sine, I'm looking at the y-coordinate. So the positive signs are up here, y-value for sine, and the negative signs are down here, y-value is negative, sine is negative. And you have to remember which quadrant each of the uh, trig functions are positive in. So remember, all of them are positive in quadrant 1, only sine is positive in quadrant 2, only tan is positive in quadrant 3, and only cos is positive in quadrant 4. If you need to remember that, um, you can try CAST or CAST, or you can start in quadrant 1 and go around, so you might go ASTC, for example, all stations to central. <laughs>